Dedicate one to the ladies. Now, summertime, sit back and need something to keep you cool. Ah, now, summertime, sit back and need something to keep you cool. Better look out now, though. Dave's got something for you. Tell you what it is. I'm your ice cream man. Stop me when I'm passing by. Oh, my, my, I'm your ice cream man. Stop me when I'm passing by. See, now all my flavors are guaranteed to satisfy. Hold on a second, baby. I gotta put my banana in Dixie cups. All flavors and push ups, too. I'm your ice cream man, baby. Stop me when I'm passing by. See, now all my flavors are guaranteed to satisfy. Hold on one more. Many people associate the creamery with the sales room, and that's very understandable and very normal because that's what the customers are in contact with. But there has been a dairy plant here since 1865, and originally it was a refurbished uh, chicken coop. And then from there it moved to uh, Patterson Hall, which is still in existence and is still on our campus. And, and that was in 1905, and then in 1931 it moved to Borland Laboratory. And then in 2006 it moved into this new food science building here. So the, the, the dairy plant has, has always been here contributing, but it has continued to grow and prosper, and we've outgrown these facilities from time to time. I love Penn State ice cream. Well, we love Penn State in general, but what we did is, is my friends and I, we, we recognized the tradition of the creamery. We weren't necessarily upset that it was moving, but we wanted to, uh, you know, relive one of those memories and kind of create our own with, you know, all the history that got, went on there. So we said, why not just stay up the whole night, go down, get the last cones at the old creamery, come down, stay up all night, hang out, just have a little, our own little, you know, festive party out in the middle of the, right out in front of the creamery and then get the first cones at the new creamery. You know, we were very excited to celebrate the Penn State tradition that, you know, with the old creamery and the new creamery. So it was a lot of fun. Now, there are many, many good ice creams. There are many, many good ones out there. But there are some attributes that, that does set the creamer ice cream apart. And this is not because I work here, but if you like ice cream, you have to come up and try because our ice cream is one of the best that I've ever tasted. We have a butterfat content of about 14%, which is a premium ice cream. It's good. I don't know. I heard that it's really fattening, really bad for you compared to everyone else's ice cream, but I'm okay with that. Not FDA approved because there's too much fat. That's what makes it so good. <laughs> but when you actually taste our ice cream, our ice cream comes from how quickly we process it till it's eaten. And we say that from cow to cone. Collectively, from, from cow to cone, it takes about uh, three days. The ice cream making process uh, is segregated into key steps because it, it uses raw milk, components of concentrated cream, and then also inclusions, and, that's, and those would be your, your nut meats and your, your, um, your variegates, your sauces, your fruits, and your flavors. So we would bring in milk from our dairy farms here at Penn State, and the milk would then be isolated and tested to be sure that it's safe for consumption. Our cows are milked two times a day at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. And so the milk goes into what we call a bulk tank. And the milk is going to be picked up every other day. And right now we're shipping around 29,000 pounds of milk at every other day pickup. One of the things that we really take care of is um, making sure that we produce milk that is of a high quality. And one way that we can um, try to help that quality is the bedding source that we use for our cows. And in our freestall barns, we use sand bedding because it contains no organic material, which means that bacteria can't grow in it, which in the long term makes more milk for us that goes into the, the bulk tank and goes to the creamery.
and that makes a good premium ice cream because it's not sitting in the freezer a long time, you know, forming ice crystals. The other thing is, is that it's all of our ingredients are natural ingredients. You know, you go and you get a scoop of ice cream, whether it's strawberry or whatever, and you have the strawberry right there. If you get peachy paterno, the, the peaches are right there. Better than other ice cream? Yeah. yeah. What do you like about it? Um, it's yummy and good. That about sums it up, huh? <laughs> we actually live um, near like the Pittsburgh area, so we were um, coming to watch like the Penn State Singers, and like we hear so much about like how good the creamery is that we just had to like stop by and see how it was. He likes his ice cream. Yes. <laughs> the most rewarding part about my job is certainly being in the position to produce the dairy products for something that is so important to the Penn State community. I mean, being here to produce this ice cream that students love and is very near and dear to the heart and very much a part that they want to share with their own families when they come to visit the students. To be a part of that is a very, very rewarding thing. And over the years it's became a, a tradition. The ice cream is, is well known as the football and the uh, football stadium, the Nittany Line and so forth. And it's also became a meeting place. And, and the big saying is, let's meet at the creamery. You can't get sick of Penn State ice cream. Uh, like I said, it's one of those tradition things. So even if, you know, you're not necessarily in the ice cream mood, you still pretty much have to do it anytime friend or family comes up. You have to go to the creamery. It's just what you do at Penn State, so. Well, I think we should. I mean, a rule is a rule, right? But he's the only person we did make yeah, flavors. Yeah, I had that. Yeah, we did. Why should we make flavors for Bill and not for Liz? <laughs> and then for like the next two two days on CNN, you know, President Clinton gets special treatment at the Penn State Creamery, and it was just on and on. And then the phone calls. We we took phone calls. From people very upset for two years.